Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another video. Today, man, we are back at it. Here we go again. Supreme Fall Winter 2021 is here. And oh boy, this shit stinks, bro. Smells like a whole bunch of dog shit, bro. <laughs> man, listen, listen, listen. I tried. I really tried, guys. I have went through this lookbook now like 10 times in detail. I didn't scroll through the whole category. I literally swiped through each and every single piece. I struggled finding five or six pieces that I actually liked in this lookbook, man. It is that sad. And I know there is a silver lining. There is a potential saving grace of the season. That is the collaborations. There's rumors of tons of collaborations out there. There's Dickies, I heard. There's also Jansport, which would kind of also make sense because the parent company of Supreme also owns those companies as well. So I'm not going to sit here and say that, uh, you know, the season is, uh, you know, a complete throwaway. There are some pieces that I like, which in this video I am going to go over. There's about six or seven pieces that I kind of wanted to show you guys. But man, the majority of this lookbook is so much dog shit, bro. Because of pieces like this, and this, and fucking this, I, yo, oh my god, man. It's so sad because I look forward to these days, and today, man, I woke up, and I looked through, I looked through like the first six categories, like the, not even, like the first two or three categories, and it was just depression bro with so much sadness man regardless i hope you guys enjoy the video man let me know in the comment section below what is your opinion on the lookbook is there any piece specifically that you are looking forward to again i'm going to go over my pieces or my favorite pieces right now um if you guys are new to the channel and you guys enjoy this type of content please go ahead and support the kid by hitting that subscribe button down below also go ahead and slap that like button for the boy i would really really appreciate it it really does help the channel out and also for those of you guys that want to go ahead hit that notification bell you guys will be notified every time a new video goes up but enough of that man let's get into my favorite pieces i do also want to say this season is kicking off this thursday august 16th um it's dropping online and in store so you'll be able to uh register for sign up tomorrow on tuesday um i don't really know what's going on with that usually supreme week one or week zero how some people call it usually is split up between two weeks because it's that large of a drop um, maybe they've been ahead of production. Maybe they just have more staff as well. I'm not really sure, but everything is dropping online and in store on Thursday. That's at normal time, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Now, let's get into it. The first category that I opened up, the jackets category, I found a piece that I must acquire. Um, if you guys are not aware, we are set to get a collaboration with the New York Yankees. We have gotten a Yankee collaboration in the past, and that collab did extremely well. I actually still have the Yankee deck. Um, very, very nice piece. We are set to get some more Yankee pieces this season, including this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trucker jacket. It's dropping in two colorways. There's a blue colorway and a black colorway. All the Yankee logos are embroidered, which is always very nice to see. This is probably going to be one of the more limited items dropping this season, so I'm praying to God that I can acquire it. Being from New York, being a Yankee fan, I would just like, you know, just to have this piece just for the hell of it. I would also even rock it as well. Um, this is unfortunately the only jacket that I liked. I tried, I'm telling you guys, I looked long and hard for more pieces that I liked. I just I just couldn't get around liking any of them. Um, hopefully this piece drops at a time where you know it's convenient for all of us. Hopefully we can acquire it. Hopefully I can acquire it. I'm sorry if I take your piece, but I am looking forward to this piece. Hopefully you guys are as well. Now, let's go ahead and talk about these sweatshirts. There are four sweatshirts that I am looking forward to. Um, one of them is kind of an obvious choice because it's the staple for Supreme, the box logo. I'll get into that in a bit. Um, the others, for starters, we have this Ola Rupert hoodie. It's called the Lady Pink Hooded Sweatshirt. You guys probably know already my affinity with Ola Rupert hoodies is probably the reason why it's on this list. Um, I do personally like this hoodie even if it wasn't all over print i like the colors on it i like the vibe i like the graphic on it as well um unfortunately all over print hoodies come in at a pretty expensive price tag this is probably going to retail at somewhere around like 200 bucks so it's quite unfortunate i know it's not going to fit everybody's cup of tea but for me in my search of acquiring all the fire all over print hoodies 
I probably will go ahead and snag this. Um, I'm not really sure what to say on it, to be honest. I kind of have to wait and see how it looks in person. But judging from this photo, it is a pretty nice graphic. It is a hoodie that I'm looking forward to acquiring. Next up, we have another Arabic hooded sweatshirt. Um, I will say this one is slightly better because the last Arabic hoodie that we got was screen printed. A big, big, big letdown. This one appears to be Chanel, Chanel text, which is kind of better. I would have just liked normal embroidery. I like the two-tone, uh, you know, the two-tone hints on it as well, like the the orange one or the mustard one, whatever color that is. It kind of has like a white outline with the purple Chanel text. Really, really nice. I like it. Um, I'm not really sure if people are just over the Arabic logo because the last Arabic logo did not do well at all. Um, this one being slightly better material, it being also, you know, just different type of colors. I like the fact that they're experimenting with other colorways. It could be good. I don't really know. To be honest, I'm not looking to cop this for personal, but it is a nice hoodie. It's always been a nice graphic, so I'm pretty sure that it's probably going to do well as well. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Now, moving on, we do have another New York Yankee piece. This is a beautiful hoodie, if I do say so myself, and I know... It might be a bias being from New York. I get it. I'm sorry. But this hoodie is actually really, really nice. The back, it has like Supreme and a nice graffiti text, which of course go in line with the whole New York City vibe. It also has a nice New York City skyline as well. And even like a more subtle hint, like the Yankee pinstripes on it. I think they killed it, to be honest. I'm looking forward to it. It does also coincide with the all over print hoodies. Again, just my bias. I'm not really sure. I do dig this hoodie though. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now, let's go ahead and talk about these box logos. Ah, man, I'm trying to like it. Again, I'm trying to. I really, really am. But these colors, bro, yo, it's like Supreme is like taking the items that people really, really want and they're just fucking them up, bro. They're like killing their own, I don't I don't know man, I, I don't get it, I don't know. If you guys have the answers, let me know because this is not it, bro. All these colorways are trash. My favorite one, and I wore it on purpose, is the brown one. I always wanted a brown box logo hoodie. Maybe this is the year I'll get one, but considering the brown one might actually be the best colorway, I don't know, man. I really don't know, man. That maroon one is not bad. The pink one is super cliche. I don't know what that front one is. It looks like a like a vintage black or like a dark gray. I don't know. I hate it though. The green one, whatever pattern that is, if it's like a camo, it looks really, really bad. I don't know, man. I, 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 I don't get it. I really don't. Obviously, it's going to drop towards the end of the season, so we have some time to wait. But if you guys like those, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what is your favorite color. Again, it's not my favorite, but it is what it is. Now, let's move on. Let's go ahead and bypass the rest of these shitty categories as well. The pants, garbage. The fucking hats, man. Jesus Christ, they are assassinating those hats, man. Whoever is behind Supreme Hat Designs, they gotta go. They got they gotta go ASAP, bro. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the t-shirts. There is one t-shirt that I like. I will say that the t-shirts aren't that bad considering they're only t-shirts. There's not really much to expect from a regular t-shirt. This is the Rick Rubin t-shirt. This is again the photo tee of the season. Um, Rick Rubin, for those of you guys that don't know, is the co-founder of Dev Jam. So he has his hands in hip hop. He has his hands in music production, all that good stuff. He's done records or produced records for Jay-Z, Kanye West, a bunch of other huge, huge artists that you guys probably listen to. Again, I've been looking forward to copying this piece since I originally saw the first rumor of it. So I am going to try my best to pick one up. Real quick, I do want to take a second away from the video to give you guys some information on something that I feel can help a lot of you guys out. A lot of you guys always ask me how am I able to acquire all of the items, all the streetwear, all the sneakers that I'm able to acquire. Where do I get all of my information from? It's really a very simple answer. I get all of my information, tools, resources, courtesy of my cook group, 
ugly gang the membership link is in the description below if you guys want to check it out for only 30 dollars a month and i know it may seem expensive but in comparison to a ton of other cook groups on the market you're paying a fraction of the price when you sign up to my cook group we have monitors for essentially every single site you'll be miles ahead of a person who has to find the product first you'll be notified with all the add to cart links the second a product goes live and that also includes restocks and um, we also offer slots for all the releases as well we have slot providers with bots where you would provide your information and they'll essentially try to get the product for you uh, we offer a ton of other stuff we have foot site stock numbers we have detailed release guides so you're always on top of all the releases we also started getting into sport cards and pokemon cards and low key flips we started even monitoring for electronics like gpus and ps5s and nintendo switches all the stuff that you can possibly think of that makes money in this community we have it in my cook group so again if you guys want to you know explore and see what it's all about hit that membership link down below i promise for only 30 dollars a month you're really getting your money's worth i don't really want to take any more of your time i promise though you're not going to regret it i hope to see you guys in my cook group now let's get back to the video now let's go ahead and talk about everybody's favorite category the accessories this category was kind of like the cherry on top. It just like solidified this lookbook as complete dog shit. Usually Supreme is pretty good at like feeling out what their fans want in terms of accessories, of course. This feels completely out of touch, bro. It's so, so bad. Let's first start off with the fact that most of these accessories are just too expensive, man. I don't know if they're like marketing towards their like corporate buddies, but like the people who normally buy Supreme, they're not going to afford these pieces, bro. Like spinner rims, a bed, a tennis table, a ping pong table, nah, bro. A pair of speakers, like nah, bro. Maybe one of those, like most people will try to go for, but ain't nobody rocking those spinner rims, bro. And if you are, you're just a complete clown. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm going to have to be the one to cut it to you. These rims ain't it. The bed, it looks pretty good, but ain't nobody buying a bed for upwards of like, what, 5K, 6K? It's just stupid, bro. It's really, really dumb, man. There are some pretty nice accessories. My favorite accessories dropping or accessory dropping is the, uh, the throw, the wool throw. I think that'll look pretty good in my room, so hopefully I can acquire one specifically the black one the red one is pretty cool too though um i hope it doesn't come in too expensive because that's probably gonna be a dub but the throw is pretty cool we got a bowling ball which is also pretty nice we got like a little action figure as well also pretty dope again though just the majority of these accessories are just weak man supreme accessories used to be so so dope now we're getting fucking paper we're getting paper bro <laughs> actual paper like i'm not even kidding this is actual paper printing paper uh, I don't know, man. I don't even want to look through these accessories. I Again, I've looked through this entire lookbook like six, seven, I, probably even more at this point. I've been hoping that maybe another look at it, they probably updated it, you know, like throwing in live updates to the lookbook. That ain't happening, bro. This is pretty much it, man. This is what we're getting. Hopefully the collaborations can, uh, you know, make it a little bit better. As of right now, I can't say I'm looking forward to it, but again, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Again, let me know what are your favorite pieces. Let me know what pieces you are looking forward to the most. Let me know if you guys are just completely over with Supreme. You guys aren't looking forward to it. You guys probably didn't even know the lookbook dropped today. I get that as well. Again, let me know your opinions in the comment section below. But I appreciate you guys, man. Again, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys enjoy this type of content, go ahead, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. I would really, really, really appreciate it. But until next time, man. Woo! Supreme is back, bruh. Supreme is back. Peace.